I think you'd really appreciate, Chris, is that you could visit a lot of your good buddies that are locked up there in prison um, in Stillwater. You could probably ride your bike over there. Oh my God, I knew I heard of. Well, Mod, I mean, I are Stillwater. Boy, what fantastic battle to have here with these two cities. I'll tell you, Mata Minai is that sleeper kind of, where is Mata Minai? A lot of people don't even know where it is. Up on the uh, northeast end of town there, nestled closer to the loop of, of the 494, 694 loop. But yet the streets are fun. They're kind of funky, cabin-esque, kind of cottage feel. But yeah, that there's fantastic schools. There's lots of beautiful home sites to be built on and or that are built on. A lot of them are being uh, renovated, you know, kind of replaced, remodeled, whatever. A great area, a great suburb, really of, of kind of St. Paul. And then when you wander out a little farther down the old 36, you're going to come to the beautiful town of Stillwater. Now, if you've never been there, it's a it's a great place to spend a day. Go downtown. There's lots of shopping. You can go on a paddle boat ride. You can, you know, enjoy the beautiful scenic historic riverfront that's down there. Great restaurants, great fun to be had. Just a wonderful, very, the second you get there, you feel like you're on vacation kind of a vibe to it. Bring your money though. It's expensive. I mean, everything's, it, I always joke around saying a Coke's $9, but it's, it is. They know where you're at. And so um, I like both cities. Now, Stillwater has some more space between the two where they can grow, you know, kind of into that Lake Elmo area. Um, they kind of keep expanding up 36 towards the city. Yeah, no, bo both are beautiful cities. I don't know which one I would pick. I, I would probably enjoy being on the river more than I would enjoy. You did say something at the beginning about Matamidae. A lot of people don't even know where it is. That's true. So is Matamidae kind of more of a hey, it's three cities together kind of thing? Or is it like Stillwater? I mean, you've got the river and everything. and You've got the water and, a, you know, riverfront kind of community that you know where it's at. Is that what you have in Matamidi? Or is it kind of spread out where different kids go to different schools and different cities go to the same schools? But school district boundaries are always kind of broken up in that area. And I I know there's a White Bear Lake has kind of a, I do a development up in uh, Hugo where the Matamidi schools come right up and around and there's Forest Lake to the north and White Bear Lake to the south. The districts are kind of following the the age demographic, right? So if all of a sudden you have an older established area that doesn't have a lot of kids going in the schools, they'll move boundaries to pull more kids into those schools. But it definitely, the Matamidi district of those three I just mentioned are probably, you know, the most desired in that Hugo area that I see, at least from my customer's perspective. I haven't actually researched it myself, but. I just don't think you hear a lot about Matamidi. It, it is literally the sleeper town. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. if you want to, like, I would say the kind of the, you're in the city, but you're in a small town kind of vibe. That is Matamidi for sure. So Stillwater, I mean, typically riverfront communities um, have some old living in there. Um, yes, Storing stock is older. What if I was a, well, I am married, you know, decent, live okay, probably want to buy something in the six to 800,000 range. Where would I go in Stillwater to get maybe the best bang for my buck? Six to 800,000. Um, you, you can you can buy a beautiful place nestled into a historical place on the uh, hillside that needs um, some improvements. You know, it depends on the view. If you wanted that historic, there's a lot of older, beautiful properties, Victorian style properties there. What I think you'd really appreciate, Chris, is that you could visit a lot of your good buddies that are locked up there in prison um, in Stillwater. You could probably ride your bike over there. Oh, my God. I knew I heard of Stillwater. That's the weird That's part about this area. Is that it has the big old naughty prison, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Other than um, that, and and I, I don't, you know, you don't ever hear anything about it anymore. It's pretty hush hush. But I'll tell you what, I got to visit the Stillwater prison. My uncle, he knew the warden over there, so I got to actually visit it. That was that was quite interesting. I was stunned.